Metal Jesus here, and I am in front of Anna's house, also known as Circuits and Coffee. Now, she is a gamer, and so we're here to check out her game room, or Lady Loft, but she's also a heavy metal drummer of the band Six Days of Darkness. This is gonna be very cool. Let's go see if she's home. Drummers, they always sleep in. Hey, hey, hey what's, what's up? up? What's up? What's up? Are we doing the handshake? Or let's do, we... do it. Let... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, awkward. Awkward. Blow it up. All right, let's take a look. Come on in. library here. I like to come in here for some inspiration, whether it's for cooking or comics, you know, all types of information. Everyone should also have the gospel of filth. This is like the Scarface of books. And then, yeah, sometimes I like to just come in here, touch all these spines, touch all these spines, and uh, sometimes read the books, you know, knowledge gains. All right, so let's go take a look at the living room and kitchen. We got Zilla chilling like a villain. Yeah. Got my coffee here, beer. I don't eat food, I just drink. And then we got this rustic table here. Have friends over, do a game night. All that stuff is good. And then we got the living room where I got the big screen TV, storage for all my movies, and then the big comfy couch. Comfy couch. And just chill and hang out. Let's uh, check out the lady loft. So uh, let me take you to the Sega corner where it all begins. I got my Genesis games here, uh, moves into Sega Saturn, um, and then Game Gear. Uh, I didn't, growing up, I didn't start out with Nintendo. Sega came into my life later, about six or seven years ago, and I got gifted an awesome amount of Sega Saturn games. And I can't say enough great things about this system. There are so many good games. We got Darius Gaiden right here, and you can correct me on my pronunciation. Um, we have Mr. Bones, which I think is such a cool concept for a game, but I suck at it, but that's okay. I enjoy playing it. And then, of course, I have the holy treasure of Panzer Dragoon Saga. So jealous. <laughs> and then it goes into the Nintendo uh, system, which is the first game system I ever had. Absolutely loved. Uh, Paperboy is where it all began. Mm. And... <laughs> I uh, just, just love that system. There's so many memories here for me. Legend of Zelda, played that for hours upon hours. Jeopardy, where you have to spell it right, and when you're six years old and you don't know who any of these people are, it's really tough, but you, you memorize it so you can get on to the next level. Cradle of Filth, one of my favorite bands. I did a meet and greet and got this signed by them, so I'm pretty, pretty happy to have that in my lady love. That is awesome makeup on right there. Yep. He's, he's metal. Oh, I gotta stop here for my band's final release of our first album, Catharsis, and played on some cool, cool uh, shows here. Opened up for The Faceless and Devil Driver and Three Inches of Blood and Cannibal Corpse, so no big deal. We got my Super Nintendo games. Again, absolutely love this system. My favorite game of all time is Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I absolutely love this game. Love the music, love the levels, love, love, love. And Pokemon, snap, snap. Um, <laughs> great game, please remake it. Please make that happen. 
it kind of gets a little difficult storing the Nintendo 64 games here. I haven't figured out the perfect method, so leave a comment below if you have your preferred way of storing these, but um, this is what I have for now. And then I have some complete games as well. Uh, Super Mario 64, and that was such a great game. Still high replayability. And of course, The Ocarina of Time, one of my favorite games as well. Really love that. Uh, lots of GameCube love. I didn't love it at first. I was a hater, I will admit it. But then uh, during my collecting portion of time, I came to really value and love how many great games are on the GameCube. Lots of Zelda games. We got <laughs> Ikaruga, which kicks my ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love shmups, but I'm just like, ah! Switching back and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just like, just get them. How do people be really good at this? <laughs> but I have a blast playing them. <laughs> Simpsons Hit and Run. I, I play this with my best friend, and I love all of uh, Homer's phrases like, get in, I've got candy. <laughs> You know, just total creeper, <laughs> but you gotta love it. And then we move into the Wii here, which again, a lot of people say not a lot of good games. They're wrong. And then we got the Wii U, which... It's looking well, looking well, a little uh, thin there, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's a little thin and um, I just, I, w I wish it worked out, but there, there's still some games. There's uh, Splatoon, which is my sealed copy because <laughs> I haven't played it yet. <laughs> so you don't actually know if it's good or I, not. <laughs> I don't. I've seen a lot of videos, and I, yeah, I'll just I'll leave it at that. But oh, but Lego City Undercover. I, I'm a sucker for all the Lego games. One of my collecting goals is to own all of them across all systems. Really enjoyed this one. I, I thought it was a standout, stand up game. And then lots of love for the DS and the 3DS. Such a great handheld system. Nintendo really did it right uh, when they made the the DS backwards compatible, where you can have a slot for your Game Boy Advance games and play all these DS games. And then they did the same thing going to the 3DS. You get to play your DS games. Just keep doing that. That's really good. It allows you to really have a huge library and get a lot of mileage out of your system. Hello Kitty Party. <laughs> It's party time. Very metal. It's <laughs> it's so metal. I'm such a sucker for the Pokemon games. I think they're fantastic and I will buy every version. I am just, you got me. I'm a devoted fan to you. Um, one of my, uh, God, Poke Pokemon Platinum. Ugh. You got If you need one on the DS, get Pokemon Platinum. Uh, Professor Layton, if you're looking for some puzzle punishment, like, <laughs> Uh, some of these will just make you so mad that you didn't get it and you have to use the hint coin and then you're like, ah! But still, that's the fun of it. Puzzle solving. Alright, so that was Sega and Nintendo. That'll wrap it up for that section. Let's take a look at PlayStation. Coming over here to the good old PS1. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Classic. Great soundtrack. Great graphics superior to the N64 and I just huge fan of that series. So coming down to the PS2 collection, uh, Atari Anthology. I have a box right here of some Atari games, but this is actually how I like to play them. It's just easy to pop in a disc and choose from 20 different Atari games or more, however many's on there. <laughs> Dark Cloud, gotta give a shout out to this. One of my all time favorite games. Lots of hours put into this, Dark Cloud 2 as well. And then uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. I also rented this from Hollywood Video over and over again and couldn't believe how awesome the game was. That, I, I remember being introduced to that and loving it. Take it on up to the PS3. Coming over here, I got the staples. Folklore, just such a funky Alice in Wonderland type game. If you have not played it, you must. And then Last of Us, that game was scary, but it was a scary game I was able to make it through. Fantastic. And Little Big Planet, just PS3 has such a wealth of games. I, it, what a great system. Because then we got the PS4 here where I put in 80 hours into Dragon Age Inquisition, one of my favorite series. Again, Destiny, I played the hell out of that. Why do you got to take away Tyrion? Come on, that was my man. Coming down, playing some Rocksmith, getting my shredding skills on. 
until dawn, until I finish that. Uh, that game is scary and I'm scared to finish it. All right, then we got the PSP over here. So many great games. Metal Jesus has given this a lot of love and you can also see that I'm giving it some love as well. Uh, the Vita as well. I haven't spent as much time on it, but also a wealth of games. Moving on down, we got the Xbox. I think you guys know what's up with that. The 360. What, again, a fantastic system, just like the PS3. They just knocked it out of the park with that. But look at this sad little collection at the bottom here. Uh, uh, that's, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I bought the Xbox One. Not ashamed to say it. Bought it for Forza Horizon 2, one of my favorite games on the 360. And that is the only game I have played on the Xbox One. I only am getting exclusive titles for it, and these are the ones that are worthy of that. Stick of Truth, one of my favorite games as well, did the South Park humor right. Got the Grand Theft Auto Special uh, Edition. I thought this was one of the coolest special editions. It comes with a lockbox, it comes with this duffel bag that looks like the kind you carry money or drugs in, <laughs> and I just thought it was so fitting for that franchise. Um, Metal Jesus did a feature of Catherine, very cool pizza box. Got Persona 4, good old PSP, and Nino Cooney again. I know every game's my favorite, but games are just so good, you know? They're just so good. Okay, and then we come over to my latest edition. This cool furniture piece really serves as a uh, Nintendo Power holder and game guide holder. Uh, I have every edition except for the last one, ironically, and that's the easiest one to get, right? When it comes out, but I, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. And then Transistor, a fantastic, beautiful game. And I got my 3DS and my Vita on hand, ready to play at a moment's notice. And so now the grand finale. Ooh, all the systems, all the systems, hooked up by many cables. You can't see it for the most part, but that, that, is, that is the goal. Um, I got two Xboxes because two are better than one. No, but in all reality, I just wanted this, the R2-D2 sound. It's, I needed it, like I needed it. Um, and then, ooh, the, the Mountain Dew Xbox. So awesome, a great Craigslist find. I just love the color and the fact that it was a challenge to drink all this Mountain Dew and turn in points for a system. Like, that is awesome. But that was probably a lot of work. And I only had to pay $30 for it. <laughs> so, some cool things over here is I gotta highlight the watermelon green Nintendo. I, I always thought this was awesome and I want all the colors, but it's expensive, but I want all the colors. I think there's a thing going on. Gotta catch them all. There's, there's something about it. Speaking of gotta catch them all, <laughs> I have the Japanese uh, Pikachu N64 so I can play those awesome imports. Um, who wouldn't want this? I mean, do you see that? Do you see that? Let me tell you about how this is all set up. I got my Mackie Studio monitors. Sounds fantastic. I have that running through a Mackie mixing board, which all these systems go through these video switches and I route the audio to go through here to go through here and the video just coming through here. That's the simplified version. If you want to take a take a look over here, I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek. This is kind of what it takes. I have a, um, a blue lounge box that hides the power cables. I really recommend it if you don't want to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to organize your cables. You can just shove them in there, close the box and call it good. I have a Samsung 32-inch uh, TV. I really didn't want a bigger TV because I'm playing retro games. 32 was just perfect for me. And that's how I have it set up on nifty uh, IKEA shelving too. So if you want to duplicate that setup, IKEA, and you're good to go. All right, well, thank you, Anna, for having me over in your lady loft. Thanks for coming over. So many awesome games. So many. Now, where can people find you on the internet? On YouTube, Circuits and Coffee, or on Twitter, Circuits underscore Coffee. Awesome. Now, you being a big rock star, you must have a collection of, you know, some kick-ass cars. Oh, I do. I got some whips. You want to check them out? I do. All right, let's do it. All right, let's take a look at my whips. 
I got this green Dodge, you know, homage to Fast and the Furious. You've gotta have it with those gold rims. And they got the murder vehicle right here. Black dynamite with the gold highlight. Yeah. And then you got the blue uh, turbo where you just, I just take that around. Those are my whips. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to see more of Anna's Sega Saturn collection, we did a series of hidden gems on my channel and there are some great games in there. She has an amazing collection with some really rare and expensive games in it. So you should definitely check that out. Also, I, I want to give another shout out and thanks to Anna and also Caitlin for allowing me to come into their house and take it over and shoot this really cool video. So much fun to do. Thanks for watching.